So folks, this is how to remove a California Coast Redwood tree from a greenhouse. So we we're very lucky that it only smashed the uh, right vent out here. And uh, probably just because I had that vent open, if it was closed, it probably wouldn't have broke. But I do actually have extra glass, thank God. So the tricky part was getting the top of the tree off the greenhouse without smashing more glass. So we've accomplished that. Now I got these sil silky pruners, pole whoppers here, whatever pruners, and I'm <coughs> moving branches. It's falling across a bunch of our palm trees here too in the nursery. So what I'm going to do, once I get these removed, I'm going to take the chainsaw and I'm going to buck it up into pieces. But we're going to use this wood because redwood is really good wood for building stuff. So this is the blue, Aptos blue. Uh, I remember years ago, the green one snapped off too and it fell beside the greenhouse. So we're very fortunate. It's still a little bit windy out here right now. But uh, this was a weak point in the tree. My bad because about 20 years ago, I topped this redwood tree and then it candelabra and uh, making a weak spot. So don't do that to your redwood, folks. I learned the hard way. I got a big mess to clean up now. And uh, I had other plans today, but uh, look at the eucalyptus didn't even break. How about that? One little branch broke off of it. But the laurel tree looks like that's broken too, so I'm gonna have to take a big chunk out of that. It is a mess, a real mess. I just cleaned up the glass in the greenhouse. Not very much fun. So there it is right there. And uh, anyway, I got my work cut out for me. I'm glad I put the cold frames on those, uh, those palm seedlings there, but it fell across those palms. Hopefully it didn't damage them. Some of the glass I cleaned up there. There's the vent that it broke out. And uh, it's because I did have it up like that. So anyway, I do, like I say, I have extra pieces of glass to put in that and they're really easy to put in too. So thank God. It's that one I thought that would break the greenhouse, that 60 foot eucalyptus tree, which I'm getting cut down too. I thought a branch was coming off that, but uh, no, the redwood. How about that, eh? All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, folks, from Salt Spring Island. Hope you didn't have any damage in that wind. You can really see the blue color on that tree though, isn't that nice? Green one on the right, and the blue coast redwood on the left. It's still standing, like I say, that's just part of the top. Cheers.